take this apart and put it back together again. That's all I'm going to do. Hi, this is Vince with Discounting Board Marine. I'm the service manager here. We're going to continue on with our drive shaft series uh, and how to install a new Johnson dripless seal. And the nice thing about this seal, this is a brand new seal. It just came out and there's nothing to plumb. You don't have to have a water takeoff. Uh, it's completely compatible just putting on dry and so you don't have to rob water from any of the components on the engine. Uh, makes ins installation a lot easier. We're going to use a 9 16 inch box wrench, 9 16 inch ratchet. We've got an ARE coupler uh, wrench that'll hold the coupler. We've got the ARE separator nut, makes taking the coupler off real easy. We've got a uh, one and one sixteenth inch wrench that we'll need for the uh, separator nut. And then just a half inch drive ratchet with the coupler nut removal tool and just a little ratchet uh, for the hose clamps. And the last tool you'll need is uh, an Allen wrench. It's a 532nd. And the first thing we're gonna do is take the bolts out that hold the drive shaft coupler to the transmission coupler. That's what you'll use your 9 16 inch wrenches for. Once you have all your bolts out, there's four of them, you're going to separate the two couplers. There's a set screw in the ARE coupler. You'll need to get that out with an Allen wrench. Once your set screw is loose, now we're ready to remove the retaining nut. And this is an ARE retaining nut remover. You can see that the uh, backside, you can use a half inch drive ratchet or an opened end wrench if you don't have room between the two couplers to get your ratchet in. We should have enough room on this one. <laughs> this is the ARE coupler wrench. And that will hold the drive shaft so that you can remove it. Once your retaining nut is removed, the patented ARE drive shaft separator nut screws in and as you can see the threads are on the outside of the nut which makes this unique. You just screw that in. So now we're removing the drive shaft coupler from the drive shaft using the ARE separator nut. And now we're ready to take the old style shaft seal out. You want to make sure you remove the keyway. To do that easily, I just use a pair of wire dikes because you can grab the keyway real easy and it comes out. Now that we've gotten the keyway out, we're going to loosen this rear most hose clamp and then we're going to remove the, uh, the shaft seal and the attaching hose all in one piece and then we're ready to put the new seal in. Now we're ready for the new seal. Now we're going to use this special tool that comes with the seal and that will fit over the drive shaft. It will protect the seal from the threads or any sharp points on the drive shaft. Now you can see we're going to be real close here so what we're going to do is put the tool into the shaft seal first and it'll come out that end. Then we can get the seal started and push the tool on. Now we can slide the shaft seal down into position 
and tighten up the rear hose clamp and pull the tool out. We've got our two hose clamps tightened. Just make sure the second hose clamp is on the inner housing and uh, not just squishing against the drive shaft. So you want these two hose clamps real close to each other. So now we're going to put the keyway back in, put the coupler back on, and put the coupler retaining nut back on, and then tighten up our set screw. Okay, and now we're going to tighten the retaining nut up. Once that's tight, we're going to tighten up our set screw. Once your set screw is in and tight, then it's just a matter of putting the coupler bolts back in and tightening them up. Before you put your coupler bolts in, do check your engine alignment. Anytime you make a change on the drive system, you always want to check your engine alignment. If it was good when you started, it should be good when you're finished. But always check it. Thank you, and hope you have a great afternoon.